Hey guys, it's Rainbow Pop 123. Jordan. Why I'm filming with Jordan is because she is my mascot and I kind of missed her. Sometime I will be filming with Jalen. Anyways, I am going to be doing shout outs every week now. Why I'm doing it is because a little friend of mine commented down, commented down in my previous video that she wanted more shout outs. Shout outs back. It was really cool lover underscore four five six. So go subscribe to her please. Don't forget to subscribe to me because you know I'm doing a giveaway. Anyways, really cool lover underscore four five six also said that she wanted to do like a clay charms video. And sure I'll do that. I am gonna be showing you guys how to make a Palmer clay basic cupcake or Kawaii cupcake or something. Cupcake. So let's get to it. The materials that you'll be needing are a hard working surface, some white clay or any color of your choice that you want the base of your cupcake to be. I'm talking about this part. The color that you want your frosting to be. In this case, I'm going to be doing white Sculpey clay again because I'm going to be dusting my base with some color. And then the color of what you want your wrapper to be, which is this part. Some paint, just in case you want to make your charm into a quiet, just like this one. I drew a face on it. So, yeah. Any sorts of blades. Any types of handy tools. Some paint brushes, just in case you want to make your arm into a quai so you can paint it on. I also suggest a pen to paint on it too because it gives uh, tiny details. Lastly, you're going to be needing a mold. It can be a silicone mold or like a hard mold, but I'm going to be using this silicone mold. But if you don't have any molds, you can just shape the base as you want. And also, if you want to make your uh, cake into a charm, you can use jump rings some eye pins or an eye pin and then you can make it into a necklace using some chain clasps and yeah start off by taking a piece of clay to form your wrapper knead it until soft roll it into a ball take your ball place it into your mold and mold it down in this case my clay isn't filled going up to the top. So I'm going to have to pop this out and get some more clay. I recommend baking clay because it gives you more time to knead instead of Play-Doh or like air dry clay. And put your ball to your mold that you want it to be in. So push down and then if you see for mine, there's some clay overflowing. Well that's when your blade comes in. And you just cut that right off. And save this clay, guys. Don't throw away extra clay because it's just a waste of money. So just put it in your extra clay box. Just use this mini stacker. I just put all my extra clay in there so I can make it into molds and stuff. After you molded it down, set this aside for a second. Then take a piece of the clay that you want the base to be. Knead it and roll into a ball. Place it on top of your cupcake base. And if it's big, you can take your blade and cut it in half. Place it back on top. If, if you think it's big enough, then just push down and mold onto the base until you can't see the wrapper anymore. Again, save your excess clay and put it in your little bucket or jar. So, when you can't see your wrapper anymore, just like this, and you're good. If you guys want a tutorial on how to make the mold, then you could just comment down below. Let's take anything that can be textured for your cupcake. Um, in this case, I'm using this toothbrush. Under the toothbrush, and then I'm just texturing it to make it more realistic. I'm gonna be taking a brush along with this brush, and then I'm going to take some old makeup that I don't use because I don't wear makeup, first of all, 
And also, we don't use this. My mom doesn't use it, so I'm using it for dusting because it's way cheaper than just buying oil pastel. No, not oil pastels. Chalk. You can just use some makeup. And take my small brush, dab it in there, and dust the outsides of the cupcake. Because usually when you look at a cupcake, it's nice crispy brown on the ends. So we're going to do that. One with my big fluffy brush, put it in there, dust it on top. Just like this. Then I'm going to texture a little bit more. Just like this. Now it's time to make the frosting. Two choices. You can make the frosting out of clay or out of paint. If you chose the first choice, making it with clay, just hold on to that chose to make it with paint, then don't just take it out of the cupcake um, molder and then put your frosting on when it's done baking. But I'm going to be choosing making it with clay. So put your cupcake aside for a second and then you can take your clay and then you can either roll it out into a snake and then just apply it. But I'm going to take a little... Um, what is it called? A tip, an icing tip, to make a pretty little shape. And you don't have to do this. So I'm going to take my clay, knead it again. Knead it too much, otherwise it's going to stick to it. It's going to make you have a hard time getting the clay off. Roll into a ball and put it into your little tip. An object to push the clay in. So I'm going to use this round, this big round ball tool. But you can use like an end of a something, I don't know, toothbrush, blah, just find something to push the clay out. So, you push it until the clay comes out of the other side. Until it comes out just like this. Keep on pushing. It comes out like just like this. I'm going to twist this a little bit. Give it a cute little dimension shape. And I'm going to apply it to the cupcake in a little swirl shape. Just like this. And then how I got all this clay out of my tip is I just took my blade again and I scraped it against the edges until it came out. Oops. Just like this. I know there was some clay in it, but at least you got a lot of it out. So clean off your surface before you apply any more clay because this will prevent prevent sorry um, your clay from sticking to other clays, so it'll be mixed with colors. And then dry it off. Since I'm done with the frosting in the base, now it's time to pop this thing in. This is I squeeze the sides and I push up on the bottom right here. So that it comes out and nicely wiggle it out. Now this just looks silly. I know, I made the base too big. But this is not going to be a problem because you could just cut it down to size. It's your blade. Put it down as big as you want to. This is my cupcake. Now once you're done with that, and you can make your cupcake into a charm if you'd like. Where I got these eye pins, I got like a hundred of them at Walmart for like four bucks. That was really cheap. You go like to the craft store, it's like way expensive. This is way too big, so I'm just gonna take some regular scissors. Well, not really regular. Um, these are like really sharp scissors. And then cut it down to size. So I'm gonna measure it to my cupcake. 
and put it down to how much I think I need it to be. Measure it again. Just keep on cutting it until you like it. And then you can place your iPad inside of your cupcake. Just like this. Now it's time to bake this. I have this mini oven, so I'm just going to put it in there. And then there's a tray lined with aluminum foil, so do that with your tray. Place it in there. Close it. Set the temperature on what your packet says for your clay. And then just bake it. And now we wait. Alright, waiting like an hour for it to bake and cool off. It's finally done. Probably was like a second to you guys. But... It's still kind of warm, but it's pretty good. Um, it's basically done. Well, not done yet, but we still have to paint the face on. Well, that is if you want to and glaze it. First, I'm going to be putting on a jump ring. Open this. Oopsies. <laughs> um, oopsies, again. Put it on, and then you can close it up with one of these plier thingies. I don't know what they're called. And just close it up. Just like this. Now I made it into a charm. Oopsies. But now we have to paint the face on. So I'm just going to take this piece of paper that I usually put all my paint on. And then I'm going to be putting on some black acrylic paint, just like that. And then I'm going to take my little, um, my small ball tool right here. I usually use this. And then I'm going to put the face on it. This is going to be the front of it. Dip it in. There's one eye. There's the other one. So yeah. I'm gonna put some pink, dip it in, then paint it on here. This is going to be the cheeks. I'm going to take my little needle and paint on a little smile. Just like this. Now I'm going to get some white. Put the small pupil. And we're done with the kawaii face. Now once the face dried, you can seal it with a clear coat of Mod Podge or any glaze that you'd like. I got this at the craft store for six dollars. And yeah. This top always like falls off. That's okay. Don't be alarmed to buy if it's white. It'll dry clear just like school glue. Now we let it dry. 
Yeah, no, it's not fully dried, but it's going to dry clear, so don't worry. But yeah, that's how you make a clay polymer clay cup. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe so I can do the giveaway. And give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below for suggested videos. And if you're already subscribed, share with your friends. They already subscribed, tell them to share with their friends. And then if their friends are already subscribed, tell them to share with their friends. And so on. Anyways, have a good day and evening. Peace out, always. Love you all. Bye.